What's going on guys? Sid here. Um, this is the show recap from the other day, uh, February 13th. I uh, didn't get a whole lot. Uh, this is the first show that they've put on in about four years, five years. And uh, the deals just uh, really weren't there. Uh, but hopefully it gets better. You know, um, I got high hopes for the show and uh, you know, I, I'm probably going to set up myself um the next show or the show after um uh, but i got i got high hopes for it I'm, I'm looking forward to to it getting better and better um first up we got some supplies here it's kind of unexciting but i got a bunch of supplies uh, i got some wrestling cards uh, these were Four for a dollar, a bunch of Roddy Piper, some uh, Ultimate Warrior, some Hacksaw, Jim Duggan. Uh, he might be appearing at a show, a card show here in, uh, well not here, but uh, a card show in Wichita, Kansas, which is an hour from me. So I picked up a bunch of him in case he does, you know, a four for a dollar. You know, no, I got a bunch of stuff for him to sign if he does show up. Top's platinum card of him here. Uh, this is a numbered card, 44 out of 199. It's a platinum performance card. Some John Cena. John Cena insert got some junkyard dog uh, my uncle that also lives with us is a wrestling fan too that's why you see doubles well, I'm not a wrestling fan per se but you know it's all old school stuff which is what I liked when I was growing up and I have a major man crush here on AJ Lee, so I grabbed all the guys AJ Lee cards. So there's those, and also I got from the guy, he had some autographs. Uh, I also got a Gail Kim autograph. One of my top five favorite female wrestlers. So I made sure to grab that. So that was like 10 bucks altogether here. Um, got some autographs. These are all five bucks a piece. Jack Sigma. Certified autograph. Uh, it's out of Upper Deck. Uh, 2009 Upper Deck Basketball. Signature collection there, pretty cool. I uh, got a Nate Archibald. And that one's numbered 329 out of 499. That's out of 2010 uh, Panini. It's a really nice autograph, nice old school signatures here. Uh, I got a Jordan Zimmerman out of. Uh, Tops 2012. This is the Golden Moments autograph. <clears throat> I couldn't believe this was five dollars because I know he's fairly popular right now, so that's why I picked that up. Um, got a couple of Derek Jeters. These were loose. These were all loose. These cards. I just put them in. Sleeves and top loaders, but I got these two Derek Jeters for ten cents a piece. So Zimmerman's for uh, resale. If anybody is interested, these Derek Jeters are as well. At ten cents a piece, one of the best players to play the game. I'm gonna go ahead and buy those. Pick this up for a dollar, Chris Bryant. 
rookie card. This is for resale. So, I mean, as far as, like, I, cause I was wanting to buy in bulk. I was wanting to maybe buy a bunch of stuff really cheap. But, like, the cheapest autographs available were five bucks. You know, I was looking for something, you know, a dollar, two dollars, something like that. But it just wasn't happening. Uh, again, this is five dollars. Uh, B.J. Armstrong, 2013 Panini. Past and present basketball. Elusive ink. Really big crazy signature there. And this was probably my deal of the day here. This was also five dollars in a five dollar pile. And the lady said, you know, I just don't know if it was real. I picked it up in a collection. I didn't see a Bo sign it my, myself. So I'm surprised it lasted the whole convention because he's Bo Jackson's, you know, pretty popular. But it looks pretty good to me. You know, this is on a this is kind of a pre-rookie rookie. This is a classic uh, baseball. I think this was in a game. This is a 1987 card. But it looks good to me. You know, let me know what uh, you guys think about it. So very cool. Uh, I posted in some Facebook uh, card collecting groups, and you know, one group said uh, it was all unanimous, and they said it looked good. And another group, they said it, it didn't look good. So, I just think it was an early, hurried signature. So there you have it. Uh, also, oh, open this up. Here. Hard to do this with one hand. Also, I picked up this for, she had eight on it. I said, would you take four? And she said, no, but I'll do six. I said, sold. This is a signed uh, Lubrock first day cover. Uh, and this is like a satin uh, stamp thing here. 1977. Very cool. That's for resale as well. If any of you interested in the baseball stuff, guys, hit me up. And they also had a special guest. And that was a former Sooners All-American and a former NFL player Antonio Perkins. I uh, signed a Bowman rookie card here for me. And sign this 8x10. Antonio Perkins, 28, 2003, All-American. It's also got my name under the card there. I'm just not going to pull that out. And then he signed uh, this 8x10 here as well. Antonio Perkins, 28, NCAA punt return records. 277 yards, 3 touchdowns versus UCLA. And what was cool about this is that these 8x10s were free. I, I paid $5 for the card. Um, but the promoter of the show, uh, the guy putting the show on, uh, he also runs the uh, local card collecting group. And uh, I posted some of my art in there. And he asked me, he said, you know, hey, you, you do really good art. Um, what do you think about doing a painting of our guest, Antonio Perkins? I said, yeah, that would be cool. He said, in, in return uh, for doing the painting, I'll let you uh, set up for free. You know, I'll give you a table and you can set up and sell stuff for free. I said, well, that's great. I said, I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of not ready to do a show right this minute. You know, I, I need to get stuff together. I don't have time to do it. Uh, I would love to, I just can't right now. And he said, okay. And I said, well, how about instead, you know, maybe giving me a couple 8 by 10 signed. And there was also a card I wanted that he put up for sale. And he said, yeah, we can do that. That, that, that would be fine. So I got the two 8 by 10s for free and this certified 
autograph of Artist Gilmore. It's from 2015 Panini Prism. Now, I had met Artist Gilmore at a show in uh, in Orlando, Florida many, many, many years ago, back when I had my uh, uh, sports card show. It was like 92, 93, something like that. And uh, he signed a basketball and a photo for me. And great guy, very nice. And, uh, you know, I ended up selling those items. So I just kind of like to have the autographs of people I met back in the day. You know, and I sold their autographs, so it's kind of cool to get them back. So I've been wanting, an, I had been wanting an artist Gilmore autograph for a while, and he contacted me and said he had one. So I was able to get the this for free, and then the two eight by tens for free. Now let me show you guys the painting. Bring it up on the computer here. This is the painting here. I know the light's not the greatest. See if I can switch it up a little bit. So that is the painting there. I think it turned out really, really well. Uh, I've had a, a really good, uh, positive reception to it. Uh, everybody at the show loved it. Um, I'm also friends with Antonio Perkins now on Facebook, and you know a lot of his friends and family love it as well. But really very pleased with how it turned out. It's been a long time since I did a football painting. Um, let me see if I can find now the picture of me with Antonio. That's us there. Super cool guy, very nice. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. That show recap. Oh, and here are the uh, little certificates of authenticity for my autographs here. All right, guys, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. See you.